hello guys welcome back so now we are going to basically allow a user to register that is to write the backend code for user registration so for that purpose as you know that uh, the user will provide the profile image username email and password and when the user click on the sign up then what we will do is on the clicked event we have to basically save this information to the database so of course we will go step by step that is the first step will be of course to validate the sign up form that is uh, either the user has filled up the complete form or let's say we will also check if the image is selected or not of course we will do the complete form validation and then the sign up successful feature will be will work basically you know if the form is validated successfully then the new user record will be saved to the database otherwise it will show a pop-up message or you can say a pop-up error message just to let the user know that is what is going wrong wrong so as I told you we will go step by step now what we will do now in this video is that remember whenever we want to save uh, information to the database then we send that information in JSON format okay so for that purpose uh, we will create basically a model class a user model class which will contain the attributes of the user information and our user model class will help us in converting the information to JSON format which we can directly send as a whole to the database that is to save it to the database so what we can do is right click on authentication then click new and then we can click dot file and inside the authentication folder we want to create a dot file by the name user so user dot dot file is created inside the authentication folder you can see that and now you can create a class let us give it name as user and the user information which we will save to the database that includes the name then the user id we can say uid then the user image that is the profile image and then the user email please use the same names for it okay so that later you do not get confused similarly we will have the default links for the user YouTube Facebook Twitter and Instagram okay that's why we create attributes like that that is for YouTube Facebook Twitter and Instagram then in the constructor of user you can say this dot name then after it we can convert to to JSON that is we will use the to JSON so you can say map string dynamic to JSON so first with the name key goes the name the username then we have the UID make sure to put a semicolon here then after it we can get the data from snap that is implement the from snap method so we can say static user from snap document snapshot for that we have to use the database dependency as you know that we are using the firestore so we have to go to the browser go to the pop.dev site and simply search for cloud firestore this one which is cloud firestore click installing copy it come back to the project and let's add this quickly to the dependencies click pop get so it has been added successfully now let's just come back here and now let's complete this so we can say document snapshot let's give it name as uh, snapshot 
Okay. The document snapshot object name is snapshot. And let's make sure that it is imported. Okay. It will automatically be imported, but if it is not, then you can import it manually, which is the cloud firestore dot dot. So anyways the data which is coming from the database we can get it with the help of snapshot object we can say snapshot dot data and we will get that as map string dynamic so this data which is coming from the database which is related to the user that is the user data of course when we will complete the registration i will go through this whole code again okay for now let's just complete this user model class quickly and then you will understand it further more in detail okay so don't worry about anything i will explain everything in detail so let's call it data snapshot Say return user first the name of course so you can say name there are snapshot name let me quickly copy paste this So let me give you an overview of this entire code which we write in this video. So first of all let me tell you the reason why we have created this model class is because, because it will help us in saving a new user record to the Firestore database and also it will help us uh, in retrieving the information any user information from the Firestore database as you know that it is for the purpose of any user information so for example the information let's say on the registration screen now of course we will implement it in the upcoming videos so now uh, when the user click on the sign up button as I told you from the text field we will get the the name email password and of course the image link which will be uploaded which we will upload to the firestore uh, firebase storage okay so all information now if you see then this information is basically in simple text format okay however when we want to save information or you can say save new record to the firestore database then it must be in json format okay in json format we save information to the firestore database so that's why this model class will help us in converting the data to json which we write for that we already write the code here so all we need is that we will simply call this uh, to json function okay to json method we will just say user dot to json and we will pass the required information for example according to the current scenario the name email password profile image link and so on okay and by the default youtube facebook twitter and instagram links so that information information we will convert to JSON as this method will help us in converting the data to JSON format so as a whole the user information we will send in JSON format to the Firestore database and it will be saved there let me tell you one more time whenever we save a new record to the Firestore database we save that information in JSON format so when we take information from the text fields it is in simple format on the user interface so that's why we take this information okay we take this information this simple information and we convert it to JSON form and then we send it to the Firestore database in order to save it there in JSON format so this is the saving feature that is when we send data and save it to the Firestore database that's why we implement this user model class because it will help us in converting the data to JSON and then as a whole we can save it to the Firestore database now the next thing is when we want to retrieve data so just like I told you that is the data is saved in JSON format in the Firestore database so in the same way now when we retrieve the user information with the help of our this user model class then when we want to retrieve information from, from the firestore database it will comes in json format 
However, uh, in the Flutter application on the user interface, we can display only simple data, which is in simple format, not in JSON format. So that's why, as I told you, the information now, which is coming from the database, it will be in basically JSON format. So what we do is, from the JSON, we convert it to simple format. So what we do here is, from the JSON, we get the name and we assign it to the required variable, or you can say required name attribute. Similarly, from the JSON, we get the UID and we assign it to the UID attribute. Similarly, we get the image uh, from the JSON format and we assign it to their image required attribute. Attribute simply means the variables or you can say the proper format, which are basically these variables. These are called attributes. So we assign it, that is we get each information one by one from the JSON format and we assign it to their required attribute. So in this way, if the information which is received from the Firestore, we convert, as you know, it is coming in JSON format. So we get it from the JSON format and we convert it, you can say, to the proper format. That is, we assign that, that is from the JSON format, uh, we can access the value with the help of their attribute. Okay, so for example, the UID from JSON we can access with the help of UID variable. The image from the JSON we can access with the help of image variable. The email from the JSON we can access with the help of email variable. So I hope now you understand the meaning of this.